POV, you're the first person to stop clapping during the applause. You in the first row, come on down! You've just received an all-expenses-paid trip to Gulag. Rambo, reading about what happened to those Mujahideen guys he trained and armed. Wait, I thought they were the good guys. Now, technically, in 1988, Rambo did go to the Nono Stan land to help them fight against the Soviets. Everyone talks about this image from the movie, but this is not real. This is fake news. This is actually what it read. At least I hope so. How long have you been marching for Paris? Since 5 p.m. But it's 4 p.m. German soldiers never underestimate the power of meth. Medieval MFers on their way to freaking starve to death in a siege over a tiny piece of land because Lord whatever wanted to cuddle with some waffle or something. I don't know. What a glorious way to oof yourself. Nobody, the history of Switzerland, pretty much all the borders moving around them while they do absolutely nothing. Now again, this is like as of the last 200 years though. You really want to turn your world upside down see what they did before that. The original Habsburg Chin versus the Netflix adaptation. Might be the one time the Netflix adaptation actually got something right. Congratulations, it's like the one anime they didn't ruin. The devil in the rest of Europe's folklore. No, you can't trick me! I'm the devil! Haha, <laughs> I bested you and I just hope this act of mine doesn't end up denying me entry from both heaven and hell versus the devil in Romania. I here is your magic school diploma and a dragon now go control the weather or something. On it boss! So this is referring to a fable school of black magic, basically like a Hogwarts in Transylvania. That already sounds like a great movie. Some of the courses taught at this school is speech to animals and magic spells, and one of the graduates was chosen by the devil himself to be the weather maker. Starting to think we focus way too much on other lores when we have great material right here. Veterans expecting another inaccurate film about them, only to find out it's Saving Private Ryan. This movie triggered so much PTSD out there. A British Army officer won. You know how the Yanks are administrating psychedelic drugs to their troops to see how they react? Yeah, what about it? Well, it had me thinking, what if we did the same, only this time we send them on an exercise with live rounds? <laughs> Why not? They're looking so chill. And many men are laughing. <laughs> Can I volunteer to be the, uh, the next no part of the trial? Task to perform have relapsed into laughter and inconsequential behavior, though they are still capable of sustained physical effort. What year is this? This, this is... man nearly succeeded in felling this tree using only a spade. Wow. 70 minutes That's impressive. after the administration of the drug, with one man climbing a tree, the troop commander gives up, saying, yeah. I cannot do anything about this. I cannot control the men, and I They're... can take no action myself. This is why you give them meth. Learn from the Nono Germans. Spartans when their baby is born with a slight defect. Yep, time to just flush them down the toilet. It's worthless. You... All right, not too bad. Versus the guy she told you not to worry about. Wait, there's two? So this beautiful one is in Normandy, France, and has a total population of 30. It honestly looks like real life Disneyland. Is this is this what they base it off of? I wouldn't be surprised. The other one is St. Michael's Mount in Cornwall, England. I think this might be a rare French W and English L, L plus ratio. No, it actually can look really cool. Just gotta be from the right angle. Why yes, this looks like a great place for a new capital. Why yes, this looks like a great place for a new capital. Doesn't matter where you're from, people are just always building capitals on swamps. But the Netherlands out here, just your capital? How about your whole f***ing country? Great Britain raising tea taxes in America in 1775. 99 cent Arizona iced tea selling for $3 in the UK. Ah, uh, you gotta love the present timeline. We finally got our revenge. Ooh, conspiracy. Did the US Special Forces really oof a mythical giant during the invasion of Afghanistan? Poor guy was probably trained by Rambo himself too. This is our home. The ordinary Ukrainians taking up arms. Honestly, if I was Russia, I would be very afraid. Think again, Putin. The frick you mean we left the perks in Spanish-occupied Florida? Oh man, that is one of the worst places you can leave the perks in. Still not as bad as French-occupied Louisiana, though. Guys with hair like this have a 100% chance of leading you through an age of prosperity. I'm so jealous I can't do this with my hair. China about to invade Taiwan, Russia about to invade Ukraine. Can we invade, like, Mexico or something? Or Cuba? Starting to get FOMO. I think this guy's clearly forgetting all of the 2000s when we just invaded the entire Middle East. When you get colonized so hard that you forget your own language. Oh, this one hurts. Whoever made this should definitely keep an eye out on their car. Clothing that were actually used in the Middle Ages versus the clothing that were used in the Middle Ages according to movies and series. I guess the term Dark Ages kind of throw people off. Ah, the old iceberg is how deep the Pacific theater goes. Obviously, we all know about Atomic Boom Boom's Battle of Midway and Pearl Harbor. And there's the Battle of Coral Sea. Iwo Jima, I watched that movie. Operation Tengo, what is that? It was the last major Japanese naval operation in the Pacific theater. Oh, it was basically a mission where Japan committed to not live anymore. 
more. Oh man, but just look at that KD ratio. We have Darwin, Savo Island, and the Tokyo ratings. Oh, I know about this unit here. This is basically where Japan experimented on uh, humans. They're also doing uh, biological weapon production. Possibly half a million people didn't make it because of this thing. From that to this, the Japanese, after they modernized and told they can't do anything with Wakashu fanboys anymore. Yeah, you have no idea how much they've sacrificed to get to this moment. So it wasn't just ancient Greece, was it? How the tables have turned. Seems like there's a lot of people that did this. I'm thankful to the Soviets for saving Europe from Nono Germany. And I'm thankful to the Western Allies for saving Western Europe from being completely saved by the Soviets. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't let the Soviet Union do 100% of the saving here. I'll build my own wall, brick by brick, says the Byzantium Empire. I'll be alone, but at least I'm safe. Oh, I think this Onion Man here from the Ottomans are gonna have something else to say about that. This is one of the greatest Robert Downey Jr. edits I've ever seen. Pompeii exists. Mount Vesuvius. Yeah, I don't think they liked that very much. Man, volcanoes are absolutely terrifying. Radio Moscow in 1944, you're live broadcasting one of Mozart's music pieces. You get a call from someone, you'll recognize the voice of the caller. It's Stalin, and he wants a copy of it. Man, I really need to watch that movie, Death of Stalin. I feel like I'd understand this way more. Tolkien admitting to your editor that you're wrong. Nah, how about changing the dictionary to agree with you? I guess Tolkien had an argument with his editor about how to spell dwarves and elves. Oh, the V-E-S was never supposed to be there. In English, the only correct plural of dwarf is dwarves. An adjective dwarfish. Honestly, I kind of prefer the Fs, not gonna lie. I love Tolkien. I love Lord of the Rings. Man, I don't want to have to type out the extra two letters. Driving a BMW while wearing Hugo Boss in 2022. Driving a BMW while wearing Hugo Boss in 1943. That was a whole lot of companies that were doing some sketchy things in the 40s. Imagine you just get thrown into a DeLorean and get sent back in 1943 wearing all this stuff. You might give off the wrong impression. Isn't it weird that we live longer than boys? Yeah, it's really weird. The volcano is oofing everyone. It's too late to save your friend. Fortune favors the bold. Steer to where Pompeius is. Pom, pom, pon, I guess. I guess this guy ended up saving his friend, though. Entrepreneurs nowadays, have you heard about this NFT game? You can win $100 daily passive income. Entrepreneurs in Rome, your house is burning? Pay 10000 whatever if you want our firefighter services. Man, it was way easier back then. Now I have to be a slime ball and get into the NFT game. Random person, modern warfare is brutal. Do you have any ideas to lessen the casualties? Richard Jordan Gatlin, that's it. Let's build a machine gun. That'll fix everything since it'll be so brutal no one will want to fight again. I just love that logic so much. It's actually quite sad because the guy had faith in humanity but then he underestimated just how dumb we are. Mussolini after being rescued and put in charge of the ISR and then being forced to give complete command over his forces to Hilter. It's like I'm being controlled by the boss. I didn't mean to but I felt like there was a hint of an Italian accent there. Here we go. <laughs> this Russian ship looking at a British fishing vessel. Is this a Japanese torpedo boat? Why do I feel like this happens so many times? to Russia. Luckily, these British fishermen were, I guess, okay. Austria-Hungary getting stuck on the Isenzo, while Bulgaria holding off the Romanians and Greeks, and Germany carrying a two-front war against France, Britain, and Russia. Sauce, this anime is called WW1. Wow, you have such a cool red skirt. You're a Spartan, aren't you? Alexa, play All Girls Are the Same by Juice World. A giant elephant with fur that is the peak of evolution of its specimen. Specimen or species? Some smart monkey throwing a sharp stick. Crazy that we were able to rise to the top just because we figured out we could throw things. Like, it was kind of weirdly that simple. As ruler of the Uruk, Uruk, man, my pronunciation is so bad here. It's my job to respect my citizens' opinions. Um, Gilgamesh? Yes, my dear son. You should stop sleeping with everyone's bride. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, now that's a little bit too crazy of an opinion. British conquers half of the planet just for some spices. Also, the British food. I really want to try this one day, though. I can't wait till I actually go there. I'm really curious about these bangs. King, so we won a great war. Now, can someone tell me why we are in a massive debt and instability instead of celebrating a victory? The financial secretaries. Listen here, you little sh. Not 100% sure, but I think this is talking about the Seven Years' War. Mongolia trying to take over Japan back in the day. Also, Mongolia taking over Eurasia. Yeah, they just couldn't figure out that whole boat thing. Everything else, though, they had it down. It's like they put all of their skill points into just land battles, and then literally nothing in sea. Got 45 here, and the year is 1887. Oh, I know where this is going. And I have a shotgun. <laughs> Let me prove it. 
no, you can't do that. Germany's gonna be whining about this one. Hoi four players after telling the history teacher Germany could have won if they did blank. I wonder how often history teachers have to hear this nowadays. There has to be a whole dedicated week just to have all these history kids get it off their chest. I feel like if I was ever a history teacher, I would just force all my kids to play Hoi four. And if I beat you 1v1, you fail. Hi, how can I help you? I'm looking for salt. Oh, and you're definitely in the right area, Roman. I could see why Coke can be confused with salt. The reason the Romans built their great paved highways was because they had such inconvenient footwear. That actually makes a lot of sense now. They must have been so tired of the blisters. If it wasn't for America, the French would be speaking German. If it wasn't for America, the French would be learning Russian. Wait, what? If it wasn't for America, the French would be speaking German. If it wasn't for America, the French would be learning Russian. Oh, I see what you're saying here. And communists, is that what you're getting at? Me, weird history facts, just attacking innocent people. This meme is literally what I've built my entire career off of. This is the entire public right now. Shut the f*** <laughs> up! <laughs> To show you the power of flex tape, I cut this boat in half. I love that another nearby boat tried to warn the Titanic. The Titanic clearly underestimated the power of flex tape, though. Wilhelm, when Bismarck begs him for the millionth time to stop destroying his alliance policies, he has been setting up for several years. This seems to be the thing when uh, new leaders come in charge. Nah, dog, we ain't doing that today. If it wasn't for America, the French would be singing Deutschland Lied. If it wasn't for France, the Americans would be singing God Save the Queen. There you go. I feel like this is why the haha -ha French surrender memes have gone away. This this is the ultimate win card. Maybe the rest of the world can make fun of France, but if you're from the US, we really shouldn't be allowed to. Door to door marketing back in the. Good evening, sir. Hey, that's you a red coat. To talk about our Lord and Sovereign King George hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> he looks so scary. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Perfectly cut edits. Yeah, I think it's about time we throw that tea in the ocean. Mongolia declaring war on Japan four days before Japan surrendered in WW2. Clearly, this is what must have intimidated them. Thank you, Mongolia. Japan must have had PTSD from centuries earlier. They saw how scary Mongolia got when they did start to declare war. They didn't want to test them. Even if they were saved by their islands, they knew they got lucky. They knew it was not typhoon season. This would have been funnier if Japan's flag went from the imperial one to the regular one. And big thanks to I Stole Drew's Pet Dog. I love Mar Marks. Drew's Arab Sugar Daddy, lover, King Corey, Drew's Argentinian Grandpa, Canadian Union, Dalton D, Bring Back Poland, Barnsky W, Arian After Hours, Fat Norwal, Alfonso M, Ivan Lima, Majestic Unicorn, Max Cooper, Mick Blorf, Mind Brothers 999, Robert Philip e. and Rye the Pie.